Hi everyone, my name is Jesse and this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Undernight in Birth. These are both from the channel K Crystal, requested by Justin and Sean. It's been a while since I've done in Undernight. And these are composed by uh, Masaru Kuba, otherwise better known as Raito. I haven't heard much of Undernight, but a little bit. I even covered one song a long time ago. It was a request for someone back in the day. So all I know about Undernight is that it's a uh, fighting game. <laughs> so I'm expecting some... I don't know what I'm expecting, actually. I, the only thing I can remember from Undernight music is that it's kind of... Ambitious, I guess. So we're going to be hearing uh, Nightwalker, a.k.a. Lin's theme, and then Scra Scraper Sky High Hides theme. So start off with Lin. Is it Lin or Linnae? Let me know. And uh, let's get into it. Night. This composer's done a lot. I'm fighting game music, I think. I'm gonna see if I can guess like her personality, both of the personalities, and then look it up. Based on the music. Ooh. I feel like I've heard of that before. Damn, dude. Bases. Tell if she's evil or not. She got two swords and what's well, a sword and a dagger? Woo! Everything sounds amazing. I love fighting game music, man. Truly. Okay. Little interlude. Oh, Toho going on. Main melody. Fantastic. <laughs> this is what a character theme entails. Reminds me of actually like Street Fighter. EX Alpha. The Alpha series, no, the EX series of music has a lot of this going on. That like mid 90s heavy synth sound. Let me look up this character. I'm not gonna read it yet. I'm not gonna read it yet. Under nice. Oh, that's catchy, man. Alright, I brought it up. 
seems like it's kind of like a generic outfit, just like a yellow jacket. Hoodie? I don't know what she's wearing on the bottom of the She looks angry. Or stern, I should say. She's stern. Oh, I see a picture. She's wearing like black shorts. Oh, dude, I love the, the airiness of the piano, you know, for the keys. Yeah, totally EX series. If you're a fan of fighting game music and stuff like this, Street Fighter EX, trust me. What's the song I'm thinking of? It's like the most famous song. Yeah, that was sick. I know I've heard of this composer before, and I'm sure I've heard him even on the channel. I just can't remember what. So if you know what else I've heard from uh, Riaito, let me know, because that name sounds really familiar. Uh, the song I was thinking of, by the way, is called Strange Sunset, aka Guile's theme. That whole... Uh, yeah, just go listen to that. So before I get started on anything, um, I'm very biased towards fighting game music. I've always been a fan of it. I grew up with a lot of fighting games, so uh, it's, it's always been very special to me because it's always a mix, sometimes it's a mix of different things. You know, of course we have like your menu music, we have your character select music, and then there's stage music and character themes. So it's like, it's a big, it's a, it's a mixed bag of stuff. And I've always been drawn towards character themes, specifically because they're kind of like a, like a bio, you know, they're kind of explaining the character in an instrumental fashion it's pretty pretty cool to say stuff without words you know at least that's the way i've always seen character themes it's like they have to describe essentially the mannerisms speech the move set etc the story of the character so it, it really makes you wonder like huh what kind of person are they now in this case i'm a little lucky because i have an image which by the way this uh, awesome thumbnail from this channel. I see, you know, a kind of like stern, no BS looking young lady. She's got a, what looks to be a pretty broad sword behind her and then like a dagger. So she's, you know, a knife fighter at least, but um, I'm getting like this no nonsense just approach and pretty like revenge type storyline type of thing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But the music is so odd, though, because the music, to me, didn't really match what I'm seeing here. Sort of. Like, the music was borderline happy, but mysterious. Definitely mysterious. Let's go with mysterious. But, you know, it wasn't, like, dark, per se, or angry-sounding. It just sounded like this character has quite a lot of depth, as vague as that sounds. So that's my guess. Now I'm going to read the fandom page. Oh, we actually have the full image here. I just saw that. That's what we're looking at. She seems to have like a side character, like a little, like a little animal pet. Oh, they have their birthday and everything. Apparently, she's four seven, aka one hundred forty one centimeters. That is a little lady. <laughs> Maybe she's young. She does look kind of young, maybe like 20 or something. Um, so, no name is the longsword and nameless is the folding knife. Hmm, okay. Okay, so let's see what it says here. Uh, this character is the Deter Deteronjin? Deterogenist of Undernight and Birth? I don't even know what that means. I have to look that up. And Kwan's younger sister. She is an immortal being who wishes to end her cycle of reincarnation. Ooh. Damn. She is one of the first 12 characters introduced in the original version of the game. Oh, she, oh, she a character. Okay. Mind you, I have no idea if this character is connected at all to the next character, the next team. 
I go, I put themes together based on what game they come from. Is that it? Is that the whole information? Okay. I guess that's, that's it. I gotta find out what this word means. I've never even seen it before. Deuter, deuter, to Google. To Google. This might be, uh, let's, see what, let's see how Google pronounces it. Deuterogonist. <laughs> Deuterogonist. The person second in importance to the protagonist in a drama. Raise your hand if you knew that, because I didn't. Okay. So, like a... Okay, so like a sidekick to the main character. Okay. Cool. I like learning new words. Thanks, Google. <laughs> So she's a main character. Younger, Kwan's younger sister. Well, I was kind of right in the mysterious part, but the whole like immortal and breaking the cycle, that's pretty cool. I like that. Interesting. Nightwalker is the name. Now that I don't get, but I guess it's where you guys fill in the information. How exciting. Anyways, uh, that was cool. I love the whole jazzy feel to it. Uh, just really, Awesome. Everything sounded great, and there's really not much more to say. I love that sound, and it was great. I loved the loop. It was perfect. Great song. <laughs> this one also I'm going to look up after. This is Scraper Sky High. I feel like that should be called like Sky High Scraper or something, but it's called Scraper Sky High. Hides theme. And I'm getting some... Uh, I don't know what kind of vibe I'm getting from this character, but he looks kind of bad. Red eyes, red sword. It's a red theme to the thumbnail. All right, let's go with Scraper Sky High Hides Theme. This sounds a little more sub boss to me already. Electric guitars. Let's pull up this page, but not reading it. Yeah, that was sick. Nice, a straight up guitar solo leaving everything cut out. It's like rock infused with like electronic elements. He looks a little more like He's got like a suit, uh, like a specific work uniform on or something. Maybe part of a army or something. Oh, he's got blonde and black hair. That's really cool. It's a loop. And then again. Small little detail like that, but it's, it's 
good enough to remember forever. Very characteristic. I wonder if I can guess his story. Like, just throw a random story out there and see if it sticks. Because I would have never guessed Immortal who's <laughs> trying to break the cycle from the 4 7 girl. I don't think we got her age either. Does Immortal count as a peach? <laughs> Or maybe she died at that age, and that's tough to cook. That's what I like about fighting games, like, the stories can go so many different cool ways. What a great soundtrack, seriously. I'm excited to try to guess this one. I have a soft spot for fighting game music, if I haven't said that already. Cool. That was Scraper Sky High. Now again, the song titles, I have no clue what's up with them, but whatever. Now for this one, I don't have much, but I am getting a little more evil. Evil, bad guy, antagonist, sub-boss, something like that. I'm getting more you know, just something in your way, kind of like a smug type of like impressing the boss type of thing. And based on the whole like red sword and red eyes, maybe some affinity with fire. That's my guess. So, Hide Kido. He's 5'7". A whole foot taller. <laughs> um, the weapon is called the Indulgence of ins Insulating the Insulator. Hyde Keto is the main protagonist of Undernight and Birth. He's the wielder of the legendary insulator and a second year student at an unnamed high school. Okay. He was one of the 12 original characters introduced in the first version of the game. An ordinary child from an ordinary high school who was the protagonist of the story, he was saved by Lin, or the last character, while under attack by a void. As a result, he awakened to his power of EXS. Excuse me. And Lin has demanded his help. Since then, Lin has made Hyde's house hers, as well having Hyde do her bidding. All the while, when the hollow night falls on the world, she acts on her own, not wanting to expose him to danger. In order to save her, however, Hyde takes matter into his own hands. I think I might have missed a description for Lin. So hold on. Let me go back to Lin really quick. Hopefully I'm saying their name right. Oh, I did miss something. Okay, here. A lady... Okay, let's go back to Lin really quick. This was not shown before. A lady young only in appearance. And the heroine of the story. She saves a high school student from being consumed by a void. But cannot save him from turning into an in-birth. Oh, I guess that's kind of like a, okay. After discovering his awakened powers, however, she asked for his help. Use that power of yours to end my life. But before he can grant her wishes, a woman claiming to be the leader of Amnesia leaves them with a cryptic message. I'll be waiting at the abyss on this hollow night, princess. Now, this is cool because for those that don't know, Ever since I started introducing this uh, dual video thing, or dual, two songs per video, for the longest time I just did one song per video. And uh, I did this to kind of like cut down time and, you know, get more information out of the same game, you know? Kind of just multiple pluses as to doing it. But 
I don't, there's no like rhyme or reason as to why I put songs together. In this case, uh, the song that was, uh, let me pull this up actually. Give me a second. The song that was requested was Linsteam. And since that one had a uh, priority, I grouped it with the next request that was been, that's been waiting the longest. And in this case, that was uh, Scraper Sky High. So <laughs> what I'm saying is there's literally almost never any relation besides they come from the same game. Sometimes, you know, my community on Discord will be like, hey, put these two together or something. But, but anyways, for the most part, they just go together based on their name. So these two being together is pretty cool, especially since I looked it up. See, and that's another thing is funny because I don't always look up stuff. Sometimes, very rarely. Uh, when it's something really, you know, tickles my fancy or I get that curiosity bug, I'll be like, oh, let's see more about the game. I'll look up the developer or something. But typically I like to just kind of go in completely blind and just make assumptions and guesses. It's more fun that way. But I'm glad I did it here <laughs> because not only are these two songs connected but like the characters are like related basically that's awesome and totally unplanned that's called serendipity and i'm big on serendipitous events um the whole channel is serendipitous to me you know like my whole career has been serendipitous so i'm very big on like the whole like you know that aspect of it i have no idea what these song titles are referring to but I just think it's really amusing that both of these songs are pretty closely related to each other. And I was way off on him being like, well, I don't know if he's evil. I just know he's the protagonist now, but I was, I was guessing like the totally wrong vibe. So I don't know. I thought that was pretty neat. And just for that reason alone, I think it's going to be one of my favorite like standout videos on the whole channel. Just as to like, you know, I can, I can say, Hey, that one time those two songs I heard were like directly connected <laughs> as far as I know. You know, um, but cool. That's uh, yeah. I mean, both songs were great. They were, they both sounded amazing. They have this fusion of uh, metal, rock, and electronic elements. Very big emphasis on melodies. You know, I noticed when the melodies kick in, stuff either drops out or like the volume kind of goes up a little bit for the lead. You know, it's a big earworm vibe in Undernight. Really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me know more about Undernight and Birth. I know they have a couple of games, and I think even a recent one or one's coming out or something. Never played them. Uh, but they look nice, though. And, of course, again, let me know more about uh, Riaito. Because I feel like I've heard that name before. Anyways. <laughs> Hides and Lin theme. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Sean. Thank you to all my Patreon members. Couldn't be here without them. Thank you to my Platinum members. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the Auditorium. Later.